Fantastic, excellent. Okay, so now we, the tip we're going to look at now is we're actually going to look at question distribution because in the first question, we, we, or should I say the first tip, we spoke about um, you speaking 40% of the time as the sales professional and the customer speaking 60% of the time, which led us on to the next tip. And the next tip said, how do we get our customers to speak 60% of the time? Well, we need to ask meaningful, open-ended questions. Well, how many? Well, the... Um, top professionals from our research showed that it's around 14 questions, but here's the critical part. They're not came questions right up front. They're rather carefully crafted questions that are designed to encourage conversation. So the way to encourage conversation is to have these questions pre-prepared, well not necessarily pre-prepared, but they can be pre-prepared questions, as I said previously. We have a whole lot of information that we need. So we want to prepare a proposal, or should I rather say we need to prepare a proposal that connects our value proposition, in other words, what we can do, with what the customer needs, values, expectations, goals, etc. So if we want to connect those two together, we need to find out something. And that's something that we need to find out. We have a pre-prepared whole idea. We need to know all of this specific information so that we can connect our value proposition to our customers needs, values and expectations. So we understand up front what they are and as I said in the previous tip, what you want to do is you want to answer as many of those questions with research up front. But obviously there's going to be some questions that you're not going to be able to answer. Those are the questions that you're going to bring across into the sales meeting. How are you going to ask those questions? Well, in a very conversational fashion, because you want to engage the customers. Conversation is, it just becomes really simple because the, the, your customer feels like they're having a conversation rather than somebody standing in front of them pitching a product or a service to them. So that's exactly what you want him to do, is you want him to distribute the, the, the questions, so you want to know what questions, so the questions that you're going to be asking is all the stuff that you can't find in your research, so you're going to ask that during the meeting. How are you going to ask these questions? Well, they've got to be evenly distributed in a very conversational manner throughout the conversation. Think about the phases of the sale. So the first phase of the sale is we want to connect with our customer. Well, during the connect phase is where we're looking to get to know people. We're looking to get to know something about you. We're looking to get you to know something about us. Well, from our research, we found that the top performers asked about two meaningful open-ended questions in the connect phase. And then obviously you go into the discover phase. Now that's the, that's the real nitty-gritty of, um, of the whole conversation, isn't it? Is we want to find out how we can connect our value proposition to each specific customer's unique needs, values and expectations. And that's where we're going to ask those additional 12 questions spread out throughout the conversation so that it is and remains conversational. So the next thing that we need to think about is we need to think about when we're dealing with people, people have different personality types, thinking styles and decision making processes. So when we're going to be asking questions, the type of questions that we need to be asking are very much related to each person's personality type. So when we're dealing with a socializer, we want to ask questions relating to people. We want to ask questions relating to what are your expectations around your team? What do you want for your people? What outcome? How would you like to improve the efficiencies, the effectiveness of your people? Because remember, for a socializer type personality, it's all about their people. Then, of course, if we talk about the organizer personality, and organizer personality is always about checklists and always about systems and methods. And so our questions have got to be related to what systems, what methods, what processes would be ideal for an organizer type personality. And then we talk to a learner, and our learner is all about knowledge. A learner is all about getting as much information. In fact, for a learner, they want data sheets about the information that they got data sheets about. So you want to be asking questions around what information do you need? What support do you need? What knowledge do you need? What data sheets do you need? So 
similar, your, your outcome is still wanting to connect your value proposition, in other words, what you can do with each unique customer's or each customer's unique needs, values, expectations, and goals. But each personality type thinks differently. So, for example, when we talk about the dominant personality type, the dominant personality type is all about summaries, executive summaries. They want the brief outline. You need to be, be brief, be bright, be gone when you're dealing with a dominant type personality. So think about when you're preparing your questions. Yes, you want to connect your value proposition to each customer's unique needs, values and expectations. But when you're researching, when you're meeting with a customer, try to identify their personality type. Because when you understand their personality type, you're going to be asking different questions. A socializers about their people and organizers about systems and checklists and next steps um, and learners about knowledge and understanding how everything's going to connect and work and a dominant personality is about knowing how's this going to help me how's this going to work that it's going to make me shine me look good so keep those perspectives in mind when you're building and, and designing questions that you're going to be asking for each customer